I'm gonna give so much hate for this one. <laughs> we got your boy Rust. We got his first album, and let me give you again. This is a brief intro on Rust. I'm Devontae from Devontae's Paradise. Um, I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this one, but um, you know, and I've been preparing my life. Windows has detected that your computer is performing performance is slow. Yeah, my computer, this laptop fucking sucks. And you guys are lucky because what the fuck? I was doing something. But you you guys are lucky because my, my computer screen is cracked. With this one, the the computer screen is cracked. But you guys get a you guys get a, a clear screen. But anyway, uh, we got Russ in the building, you know, uh, one of hip hop's most hated figures in the world. I don't hate Russ. Um, I actually agree with with, with uh, Russ with what Russ is saying. Um, hip hop has become something. Hip the 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 legends like Snoop Dogg. And, G Jeezy, the new legends, Jay Z, um, T I, Kanye, the game. You know, it it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't always about drugs. You know, it wasn't always about drugs. It wasn't so much drugs. So much drugs. It just Everybody wants to do drugs now. And I admit, Wiz Khalifa made me want to smoke weed. And a lot of people, and even conspiracy theorists, are like, oh, this, this music makes you want to do drugs, and this, and this, and that, and want to have, and, and make you want to do all these things, this, this, and that. And you got to be able to discern yourself. It's up to you to be responsible and to use discernment. That way, you don't actually fall for the trap. You know, I never understood that. And, um, Russ came out with There's Really a Wolf. He was good at this point. I remember this shit like it was yesterday. I was working at Doolittle. Oh, no, no, no. I got fired. I just got fired when this album came out. I had just got fired. And it's crazy because it's bringing me to a memory of this homegirl. Uh, a co-worker that used to work there I just ran into her about a month or two ago she knows she knows who I'm talking about but um the 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 song I heard from this was um, lose the control and I remember it like it was yesterday uh, I'm going in the gym to 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 ease the pain of this 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 girl because I just disappeared. And I kind of wanted to give her an explanation, but I couldn't. And uh, I would just work out, go in the gym and work out. See how everybody was doing it, do little as well. Um, <laughs> those times, man. And I, I was I, I hear losing control, brought my brother in, boom, boom, boom. I, we heard the song. He was like, "Yo, this song, this song, dope." Who is it? Who is it? I was like, "Man, uh, some dude named Russ." And um, I think six months after that, uh, Russ decided to do an anti-drug shirt or put an anti-drug shirt on. Um, since everybody's in in the, all the all the rappers in the game are heavy on a drug influence nowadays. Um, he got a he he got a lot of backlash. Then he did producers. He got even more backlash. They 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 uh, misconstrued Russ' comments. Now he's one of the most hated people in hip hop. But he uh, he he reminds me of how things were in the old, you know, and back in the back in the days, the old days, where people actually used discernment and uh, took their time and actually enjoyed hip hop and weren't on heavy drugs. People always drunk, you know, and, and smoked weed, 
but when the pills came in and all this other shit and it just it just it for me for me personally I'm young I'm 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 27 I'm gonna be 27 I'm turn 28 this year 2020 and I was listening to hip hop when I was a kid I was born in 92 so seeing a transition from even listening to hip hop as a baby as a child as a little one when I was in elementary you know it's, it's, I I seen a whole the whole transition of hip hop I've seen the whole thing the Tupac era I know how it felt when Tupac and Biggie was died even though I was only like four or five years old I was already in the hip hop by that time as a young kid uh, from listening to Eminem with my mom riding through California from Vegas to California um, the early bling era with Nelly, Luda Jay-Z was still coming up from listening to Nas and in 99 listening to his third album my mom used to always listen to uh, I Am it was a song called Kissing one of my favorite joints on the on the album from from looking at documentaries about Aaliyah she passed away I was there for all that shit I I'm not one of these new hip-hop guys even though I'm young I'm not one of these new hip-hop guys that just listen to hip-hop in 2010 when it really got popular no I, I I'm a die-hard hip-hop fan I like rock music too though I used to listen to rock music. I I like the um, see. I'm getting a lot of flack for this video, but honestly, I just I, I I really don't give a fuck. But I used to listen to Red Hot Chili Peppers, Nirvana, Green Day. I think those are those are my favorite bands: Green Day, Nirvana, Red Hot Chili Peppers. I used to listen to Pink. I used to like pop music. Um, I even heard a couple country songs. Anyway, I'm going off subject. Um, when I was when we heard Russ, we Russ is cool. Russ did all that shit. He goes in these interviews and, and explains himself, and people hate him even more now. People are trying to beat up Russ. Uh, street rappers are dissing Russ. Subliminals and all this. Um, Russ brings Russ brings it back to a time where you didn't have to. I mean, you 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 had to be tough. You had to defend yourself, but you didn't have to openly be so tough and just you just did the music and, and, and stand for yourself. It's hip hop, and Russ gives me that nostalgic feeling. It's a very good feeling, very good feeling. He he's bringing it back. So I'm gonna ask people to support Russ. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm playing devil's advocate. I already, I already um did a rant on women. I'm doing a I, I got the video on toxic women, toxic man. At this point, I'm playing devil's advocate. I was trying to play it safe, but what's the point? So let's go to the single. Cause there's no features on this album, but let's go to the the singles on this album. Singles were, I believe, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best. <laughs> I'm probably gonna get this wrong, but I believe it's Cherry Hill. Do it myself, dope. What they want, I'm losing control. I believe that's right. Oh, and I, and I've been listening to this album, Family and Friends, yo, like. And here's the thing, right, about Russ. And I, I get this vibe from J. Cole too. I think I think a lot of people are losing their minds with all these drugs and these pills. And this is fairly new. You know what I mean? Like doing all these drugs just doing all these drugs and you don't know the, the long term effects or the side effects or what it's doing to you. And I I, I hear certain people saying, Oh, I don't like rust. I'll be like, why don't you like Russ? Uh, he he said, it the the explanation basically will not make any fucking sense. 
It won't. It won't. There, there's no sense to it. And basically, uh, I was listening. I listened to uh, Chosen King, and people don't want to hear the truth. When you hit them, when you smack them with the truth about themselves, people people hate that. They don't want. They don't want to have to deal with themselves. They don't want to have to deal with that truth. And Russ represents the guy that is forcing you to li look at yourself in the mirror. And I say this all the time with my friends. Look at yourself in the mirror. Deal with yourself in the mirror. Nobody wants to deal with themselves. That's very dangerous. I took the time to deal with myself. I've cried. Um, I've, I've asked the universe, like, what, what happened? What's wrong? And I looked deep down in myself and the things that happened. And, you know, if anybody done anything bad to you, you got to learn to forgive it. Forgive it. Because, you know, trying to cast judgment and, and, and trying to hate the person, and trying to spite the person, you're only damaging yourself. You're only damaging yourself at the end of the day. Because misery definitely loves company. But let's let's get into it. Russ's second album, Zoo. We got features from Rick Ross, Snoop Dogg, and Mahalia. So, and Russ does all these interviews, and he he me personally, he says uh, he makes a uh, he makes sense to me. He makes a lot of sense to me. I seen this interview he did with Joe Budden where he said. Um, he said something about women. He said, man, you, you, you women are afraid to basically tell your man that he's a fucking loser. You know, people are hating me. This is hip-hop. I should be allowed to be braggadocious. He's right. Everything he's saying is right. But the thing is, again, and I never understood it, but feeling everybody's energy and listening to Russ it's like listening to myself talk, you know, and it's, it's, it, it, bl it blows my mind. These are things that I would, Russ says shit that I would actually want to say, and I'm not afraid to say it. And it makes me think it's like, see, somebody like this in hip hop can kind of make it. So you know what? Let me back this. But... It's just, I just think he's right. I, I, I think the, the whole the whole thing behind Russ is anybody can do it. Anybody can do it. It's but it takes to, it takes a lot of hard work and dedication and patience and time. And you gotta you gotta keep going. You know, I remember times I had videos out, I had I had videos out. They were it was growing traction, but then I scrapped it. Nah, let's, let's let's redo it. It's taking too long. You got to be patient. You know, you, you really got to be patient. You gotta you gotta you gotta keep going and striving. And anybody can do what Russ is doing. Anybody, you, the subscribers, the people that comment, anybody can do. Anybody can have a brand. I could have a brand. You know. You could have a brand. Anybody can have a brand. It's possible. But Russ, Russ, the way Russ does it, the in your face, you can do it. It's too much truth. You're smacking people in the face with too much truth too fast. And most people don't want to hear the truth. That's the only issue with Russ. So, I definitely, I definitely co-sign Russ. I'm playing devil's advocate at this point. <laughs> uh, let me know what you guys think about Russ. Anyway, peace.